Nakia Watson returns to the backfield. And it is Watson. Up the middle. Inside the 15. On second and five, they'll give it to him again. Staying upright. Discuss that power. He got near the line to gain. That's going to bring up third and one. How about the start for the redshirt freshman Graham Bird? Six for six. This time on the ground, Brown, Garrett Groshek. 300 pounder. But commits the penalty, and that sets up this off the play action. Graham Mertz is going to tuck and run. He's got some good speed and easily picks up the first down on a gain of 13, stepping out at the 20. Illinois does a nice job in coverage. Wisconsin trying to take a shot. I've been impressed, Brandon, with just how comfortable Graham. And they give it to the first man through. John Chanel, and Chanel is in. And Wisconsin now has this thing in cruise control. Mentally sharp and take those reps. Garendo, good space. And that Wisconsin running game. And Garendo here with a nice carry. Yeah, able to get around the edge there. And you see his speed that they were talking about. For Wisconsin. Only 30 offers, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, only 30 offers. But it's going to be Groshek for the full head of steam. Third down, you think, hey, maybe they'll throw their shotgun. Nope, here's a little draw. And here comes the reverse. Pitch back around with Team Ray DK. He's got some blocks. He's got a first down. Angling for the pylon. And shoved out inside the five by Jamon Green. But trickery by the Badger. It's a good call to try to take advantage of that. Watch Mertz, by the way, on the block right there on Upshaw. That springs him. And that he's got room. Almost enough speed to get to the corner. But a heck of an effort there by Green. Not to give on the play. The progressive pylon cam shows you that he's out of bounds. Motion Stocky back in. And it's a Watson who makes a cut. Reams and scores. And the Badgers quickly cash in the interception and draw first blood on the road. Good job by Stocky leading the way. Gives him just enough room there to be able to get his. Gonna, he's one of those coordinators a lot of people are going to want to talk to. And they hand it on the end around to Davis, who's got a convoy. And behind the big fellas, he muscles into Michigan territory. First play of the second quarter, Badgers knocking on the door. Boom! Oh, two touchdowns for Stocky. One as a receiver, one as a runner. And the Badgers look like a team that's been pent up, frustrated, and eager to get back on the field for three weeks tonight. They're pouring it all into this game right now. And, uh, you know, watch the push. Watch when he hits this line of scrimmage. That surge right there. And just driving Michigan into the end zone. Like you said, Chris, old school style Big Ten football there. Right behind Logan Bruss. Wanted to get his rest. Berger has a lot of space. And he's got a first down. Daxon Hill stops him at the 45. Tackle, do a nice job on a kick out. But it's right. Look at the seam right there. He hits it. And that is a nice hole. These Wisconsin backs are so spoiled over the years playing with such great linemen. Yeah, there's that scuffle. Boy, that's going way into the sideline with Brad Hawkins. First end goal. Pryor will take it to him, and Watson just picks his way and just waltzes in, standing up. Wisconsin in total control. Good push by Dietzen. They just open this thing up. No one to block until they get to the safety. Mertz, no touch at the like five-yard line. His analysis was spot on. His yeah. grandson has big-time talent. Watson breaks through, first down, and dives forward to the Michigan 45 before Vincent Gray stopped him. And now it's going to be tough to get him off the field. A minute ago, they had a sack, finally yeah, had him backed yeah, up. They're going to yeah. get off the field. And now it's another end around. Davis picks his way. And that has worked well tonight. Yeah, it has. But I think more than anything, Chris, it's deflating. End around again. Davis slipped as he made the cut. Didn't matter. Stayed on his feet long enough to score. 
Another effort by Michigan. Bad tackling here. He slips, but still you've got a few Michigan players there. He can make a play. Bring him down. And Kemp finally throws him down by a horse collar once he's in the end zone. Make sure his knee doesn't touch. Knee did not touch. Good job of keeping his balance. Look at all the Michigan players there at the four-yard line. Yes, he's Ferguson, good, good bring him down. Yeah, Ferguson's there. You have Hill, who's trying to set that edge. Mertz has been replaced uh -oh. by Danny Vanderbilt. And look, Chanel, the other Chanel brother, John Bush Free. His brother had a pick earlier. Jamon Green finally runs him down. You know, down. he's got that kind of look to him. The big fella, he, he didn't know what to do. He's waiting for a linebacker to hit him in the forehead. <laughs> but instead... <laughs> he's got those rubber pellets off the field all over the arms here. Second and four. I get to hit a linebacker on that one. Burgers free. Galloping to the end zone. It's getting even uglier in the big house. Wisconsin just humiliating the maize and blue. 44. Lead the way right there. Hits Ross. Nice job in the left side of that offensive line. And then there's Berger. Nobody left after he breaks that arm tackle. Nobody left. Good effort by the receivers blocking downfield. And you're right, Chris. Indiana is legit. They are. They're Seven real. Points. On the 21 on first down, Jalen Berger. Eric Groshek is the running back. He's back correction this week. Mertz pulls it down, seemed to welcome the contact. And Paul Christ is going to go for it from his own 46-yard line. Nakia Watson, the tailback. Nakia Watson couldn't break free from Blake Gallagher in the Big Ten West on the line. Mertz. Across the line of scrimmage, has the first down and much more. Doesn't slide down, takes a hit, and has the first down out at the 40-yard line. Today about you got to rush this guy with some discipline. He's got the ability if you leave gaps and you leave creases to make a play. That was third and long. And up going to the Rose Bowl, 25th anniversary of that. There's Jalen Berger with some space on the edge. And a nice run by the freshman. Well, he was a great, great player, too, as a linebacker. He's got three really good ones on this team, too, that he enjoys watching. Groshek on third down and ten. They go to a running play on third and long, and it works. Now they really fooled Northwestern. Northwestern thinking pass all the way. Nice block by the left tackle, Cole Van Lannen. And then Groshek, who's usually uh, involved in the pass game on third down. It's a nice, tough run for the first down. First career 100 yard rushing game. Nakia Watson gets the call here. Two outstanding blocks. Watch 34 and 84 lead the way. Stocky on the linebacker and Ferguson on the safety and Watson. In motion the tight end Ferguson, second and seven. Jalen Berger able to spin ahead out to the 40 yard line. Nice job, too, up front by the offensive line of the Badgers. You're going to see this Indiana defense. He told us most chosen word time and again. Groshek on the carry here. He lowers the pads and gets it to the 44-yard line. And down in seven here for Mertz, the most heralded quarterback they've had come into Wisconsin in recent years. Berger, nice job and a stiff arm, and then dragging Monster Matthews for a few more yards. Second and three now. Berger in the eye formation. Well blocked. And there he goes. The true freshman from Don Bosco Prep. Movement from Indiana. You're going to see their two defensive linemen slide to the inside. Well, guess what? It's the wrong way. Indiana knows if they just stay put, they might not be able to hold up for 60 minutes. So they got to create movement. And you know what movement sometimes creates? Guessing. That time they guessed wrong. For his teammates are putting on display today. Berger on first down, Jalen Berger now as Wisconsin looks to respond. See the team coming into today, goes for 20 here. How about, I don't know what was in the water at halftime for these two offenses. We can help guys like Mark Wazinski. Very good referee, nice job there. Third down and eight. Mertz, he's going to tuck, run, and get it. And a whole lot more before he slides down. Near the 30. This is all because you're going to see just a second late. 
Mullen decides to rush outside, and it's picked up beautifully by Ferguson. You mentioned Hankins. I like his size, Tim. He's about six foot or so, six one, and he's got that range too and speed combination you're looking for in a guy at that position. That's a direct snap to Groshek. Their defense was able to hold off Iowa after the turnover. And here is Nakia nice Watson running the stretch play going towards the boundary. He's out for about four. Chauncey Golston making the stop in their previous four possessions. And this is DK. Nice. Look at this. Well, that's opening it up a little bit. Coming back the other way. That's Dane Belton, number four. DK does a nice job this time of making sure he doesn't. He's securing the ball on the back end of the run. But more importantly, Tim, it's when you get those errant snaps. Roshak. And he's beyond the 35 to the 38-yard line. A couple games because of COVID, but came off with a vengeance. Well, they needed him, too, and they lost their starting running back. Mm -hmm. That's Stocky, and that will end the first half. He had his linebacker beat, but just got too much width. That's in touchdown, Badgers. Turnovers, Tim. Points off turnovers. I mean, straight downhill. This looks like Wisconsin football right here. Fullback. Is that a fullback? Fullback in the backfield. He <laughs> got Watson in. So John Dietzen has moved out to left tackle, and Josh Seltzner is in now at left guard. And Groshek has room down the sideline and on the second play of the game. And Groshek again, and a hold of run. Through the B gap on the left side and into Minnesota territory. First down. Stocky is the fullback. Groshek in motion to the left side. And it is a carry for Mason Stocky. And he has had a handful of those this year. Has a very good connection to football in terms of what you learn when oh, it comes yeah. to leverage. Low man wins. Now it is a big hole for Garrett Groshek. But he's getting rid of the ball and he's moving the pocket. That's two straight throws now for Mertz where he's made the throw on the move. But here's just a turn and hand off. And right off the gut. Groshek, touchdown, Wisconsin, 39 yards, blasting through the end gap for the score. You're going to watch him to get right here, right there. That's really well done. Groshek hits it quick, and any time you can get a guy called Groshek. After eclipsing one hundo late in the third quarter, and he can add to that 105, tough running, but hit hard inside. Oh, still on his feet. Wow. Groshek, he just won't quit. This is what I love about this guy. Now he'll have a chance at the next level in special teams or being a backup or something because of this. It's effort never stops. Groshek in the backfield with Mertz on third and six. Need to get to the 35. Graham wants to take off, and he's going to be a yard shy as Jaquez Williams came up to make the tackle. It's fourth down. Line up right behind Mertz to his left with three backs back there. Instead, they give it to John Chanel, the other fullback. Touchdown. Guys do it back there. Full house backfield. And once again, Wisconsin loves this. Mason Stocky and, Ch and Chanel up front. Mertz keeps it himself. Touchdown. And taking big tackles, they call his own number, and he scores. See if we see it again. No, nope, Mertz keeps it himself, and it's another quarterback keeper for a touchdown for Graham Mertz. The Badgers up, and it's tied up in the Dukes Mayo Bowl. Huge turnover now. Flips the field, and now some trickeration that gets the ball back in the hands of Devin Chandler, and Chandler's down to the 15-yard line. And now a handoff, flip on the reverse from Groshek. Boy, they've got a lightning rod in number 86. Now it's Groshek. Touchdown. Walks in. Marked out of bounds at the two. Groshek finishes it off. Now it's Berger's turn. Touchdown. And around. Berger gets in there. Be the fourth Official timeout for an injured player.